Hi, I'm David Dewhurst, your Lieutenant Governor. I want to welcome you to the 83rd Legislative Session. As we begin this next session, I want to remind you that Austin and Texas are not Washington. Washington's tax, tax, tax policies and their kick the can down the road attitude have nothing in common with our Texas conservative fiscal policies and our get the job done attitude. Frankly, I'm even very disappointed in some of our Republicans in Washington who agreed to a horrible deal in 2011 when they raised the debt ceiling. The fiscal cliff legislation last week, $620 billion of increased taxes with almost no cuts in spending, hurts America and all of us. And that's not how we operate state government in Texas. I hope you're as proud as I am of Texas. I want to keep Texas the number one state in the country. As you know, I'm the only traditional business person elected statewide. I know how hard it is as a businessman to get to the top in any business, but it's even harder to stay on top. And that's why we've got to maintain our conservative fiscal and social principles. I'll give you a couple of examples. Today, Texas has the strongest economy in America. Texas is rated the number one state in the country to do business. Texas is number one in job creation, number one in exports for the last 10 years, and we've got the fastest growing population in America. Why? We Texans are proud people, and we cherish our freedom and our liberty. And we really don't like to be told what to do, especially by government. So I've concentrated, we've concentrated on common sense conservative principles. One, keep our state spending as low as possible. Texas is rated 48th out of 50 states in per capita state spending. I've repeatedly cut spending by billions of dollars. Two, keep cutting state taxes. I passed 51 bills cutting your taxes and fees over $14 billion the last 10 years. Folks, it just doesn't get any better. I've always wanted you to have the lowest taxes possible with the most liberty. Three. We've kept our regulatory climate in Texas reasonable to encourage businesses to invest and create jobs. Four, to ensure your freedoms and liberties are protected, I've worked as hard as I can to keep state government out of your way, and I've fought to protect the sanctity of life. Let me mention something again. Texas has the fastest growing population in the country. Our current population of over 26 million people will double to over 50 million people over the next four to five decades. That means that for us to remain number one, we're going to have to prepare for the future over the next four to five decades. And we're going to need to follow the principles that I just outlined. Now, I'm working with Senator Tommy Williams and other senators to pass a good budget that, again, does not raise taxes and, once again, spends less than inflation plus population growth. This session, I'll be working on passing legislation to keep Texas number one. I'll be working with Senator Frazier, Nichols, and other senators on legislation to double Texas's drinking water and highway capacity over the next 40 to 50 years. I'll be working with Senator Patrick and other senators to pass comprehensive reform of public education and give parents more choice on where their children go to school. I want to reduce, if not end, teaching to the test, and too much testing. Let's let our good teachers teach. Medicaid is a program which helps the elderly, frail, and disabled who can't help themselves. But I want to get Medicaid costs under control. Medicaid costs are crowding out state spending for education, public safety, prisons, and border security. I've led with free market reforms for health care and Medicaid not only in 2011, but I'm again working with Senator Jane Nelson on free market reforms to Medicaid in 2013. Although there are a lot of other issues, let me close today by saying that Washington has failed miserably in its constitutional duties to, se to secure our border. I again call on Washington to do the right thing, to triple the size of our Border Patrol and secure our borders once and for all. I want to thank you for taking time to listen to my thoughts on this session today and on helping to keep Texas number one. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless Texas.